G'day everyone, it's Chris O from the Gold Coast, Queensland, Australia. I've been a professional tiler for 35 years and this bathroom I'm doing at the moment has a strip drain, which is cool and I'll show you how I tile it in a sec. Um, this is my set out. I've got an even cut To there, I had to step it down that shower. I had to step it down because it would have given me, uh, would have been too high at the front here. Uh, because this, this old slab is way out of level. So anyway, drop it down. We'll put a piece of brass across where that aluminium is. I'll show you how I slope my showers to a strip drain. Hold on a sec. <clears throat> right, so I've, I've glued these in. It's got a bit of a tangle up here. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, so um, I've glued these in. I'm clipping them. I reckon these are absolute so neat. I reckon. You know, when you have, you've got to have a big enough shower though, I reckon. But you can you see that bubble? You have beautiful fall. <clears throat> from the outside down to your down to your strip drain these guys don't even need a shower door uh, I think they're gonna put put one in uh, but they don't need it I like the um, effect of no door no cleaning you know it, it's cool anyway everyone to their own so We'll just pop down a bit of glue because what I'm going to be doing is popping my, the tiles that I've already cut. I'm just going to pop them in, but <clears throat> I'm going to be mudding them in at the same time, which is all, all cool. Like so, I find it easier than uh, fiddling around with little pieces of of uh, wood and that sort of thing to to get my levels. I just do it all at the same time. I haven't cut this side yet, but I will do once I uh, once I have this in place. So with my first one, you see, you see all this. This is uh, it's all on a slope that the water is running into the. It's running if it hits the wall. It runs off that tile onto there and runs to the drain. Like so. Dropping a couple of bits of glue. No biggie. Right, 
I have angled that bed. It wants to sink down a little bit, so I'll just get a bit more glue under it. Like so. I'll get a sponge and water and clean it out because I hate glue in my lines. Right, so what I'm going to be doing is laying that there. on the same angle so it all runs into there I'll sprinkle just a little bit more mud so I can <clears throat> tap it down into place <coughs> bit of phlegm in me throat but no biggie just clear that Wash my hands. I know that my tile needs to come down to there, so that gives me that angle. I've got to put glue on this yet, but I'll just tap it into place and show you what I'm doing before I turn the camera off so you don't get bored. Then we have another one. It's a better edge. Right, see the principle? See that the slope going down to there? Now I've got that line there because it's just to check it that I'm going dead level the same as my level line right around. So when I lay my tile, it's bang on. Now, I hope you can see that. That's how it's to end up. That could come up a little, just a smidge. So I'll um, pack a little bit more mud under that 
and we're laughing. I'm going to be having a little bit of little bit of gap, a mil and a half each side, so I can lift my drain out and I can set it after this dries. Okay, well I'll come back to you shortly. See everyone, don't forget to subscribe. That is how I do a strip drain. It's all falling nicely, beautiful. That's all tilted if you can see. So the water just runs into there. What you've got to be careful with, with these drains, don't scratch it, Crusoe. Is that your dead level? See that? Because if you're out of level, the water will sit. The hole is here, which I haven't drilled yet. But if you're at a level, the water will sit there and that's not too good. It must run away. So always make sure your strip drain is dead level. Okay, we'll see you. Give us a thumbs up. Poke that subscribe button. We'll see you soon. Bye.